passage I'll read comes from the end of the title story, The Tower of Perfection. In that story, a great sage named Joachim finds the tarot as a, at a gypsy carnival, and he decides that he understands that the tarot has the possibility to convey great meaning and beauty, but of course only he can do it. And so he spends his life creating the tarot of perfection. And at the end of the story, um, a calistoka, a talking head of a fallen angel, reveals to him how, this, how the tarot will be used in the future. And he finds it's being used in a classroom to tell stories. And here's how he hears the teacher. She said, after the war of angels, the victors walked upon the earth. There they ridiculed the Kalistoko, who had taken no sides, and now were condemned to live forever as immobilized heads. One of the angels, a chief named Bright Shining in the Fire of Heaven, danced around the Kalistoko princes, laughing at the weakness that had led them to choose earth over heaven. Finally, one of the Kalistoko said, how easy it is for you, but you have never put yourself in the way of temptation. Wrap yourself in a physical body, let yourself feel its pleasures and desires, and then see if the world doesn't touch you. Bright Shining brought himself before the veil of the Creator and asked that she give him a human body so that he might test himself in the world. Soon he stood upon the earth, tall and beautiful, the body of a man with the mind of a power of heaven. He felt grass and rock against his feet, gusts of wind upon his face. He smelled the perfume of flowers, the stench of animals. He ate every food he could find, raw or cooked. The world delighted and frightened him, and he understood how the Kalistokoi could have gotten lost. But he laughed, for he believed it could never happen to him. Then, on his third day, he saw a woman named Mother Sheep of God. She stood among flowers, staring at the walls of a ziggurattic city, and he thought that not even the throne had ever known such beauty. Her clothes did not just lie against her body, they yearned for her, exalted in their closeness to her and her smell. He went before her and announced himself as a great sword of the heavenly arm. But she did not react, but only continued to stare at the city. He told her bluntly that he was an angel and she would become his lover. Nonsense, she told him. Angels are grand and wise. They know the keys to the seven spheres. They know the secret name of God. I know the name, he said. Finally, she looked at him. Really? Tell it to me. He laughed. I could hardly tell that to a woman. She turned away again. Just as I thought, she said, you don't know anything. Furious, bright shining, shouted the name at her. As soon as she heard it, Mother Sheep tilted back her head and spoke it to the sky. In an instant, the name had lifted her beyond all reach, deep into the river of stars. Bright shining tried to grab her, but all he could get was her sandal, which in his rage he threw at the city. A crack opened in the wall, and out of it came a great flash of light. And then the light died, and the entire city vanished. Bright Shining understood then that the woman had been staring at the earthly paradise, and that she herself had conjured it to appear through ritual and sacrifice and meditative devotion. And because of him, the chance to enter had been lost, not just for her, but for all the generations who might have followed her. He fell to the ground and begged forgiveness. The Creator took pity on him. She suspended him upside down as a bridge between heaven and earth. Now the woman held up the car of the hanged man once again. Here he is, bound in heaven, radiant with earthly memory. So that's the passage in the story. And it draws upon various traditions, various meditations. The actual story that the woman is telling is really a variation of a Talmudic story, thousands of years old, in which the hanged man actually appears. It's not called that, of course, because the card of the hanged man was not developed until the Renaissance, but nevertheless, it's the same image.